and we're back. I just pressed exit, which is ridiculous because I got to get into it first. So just create a new profile, play. We are going to be Christonian. Type your name, Christonian. Create area. So I just wanted to show, we're gonna to go to the drawing board, which is quite amazing. It's actually right in game, which I actually like. Heroes always wear gold and red. So we'll actually check those guys out this time. Uh, so it's like an interactive map that actually shows what's gonna be coming in the game. And I wonder if I can click. Yes, I can. Cool. So it's actually, I can still shoot fireballs and stuff like that. So let's just look it over uh, at the top here. You can see planned and the next patch are green. White is not scheduled yet. Cayenne is when time permits and red requires unimplemented features. So I guess these are red right here. We have bakery or yeah, bakery cooking and trait system. And I'm just gonna just yell off the titles and then uh, if you guys want to see more just tell me and we can always go back so gates church and shrines uh school clinic hospital alchemy lab and tavern not implemented yet uh status effects so that'll be the next uh patch uh worker proficiency open-ended plans miscellaneous and more towers uh, over on this side we have the bakery cooking social system farm implements liquid Reroute, inventory systems, priority building tab, gifted villagers, weather system, technology systems, recycle mode, sandbox mode, uh, resource decay, influence system, map generator, world map, statistics, beast tree, AI improvements, and trade system. Okay, and now we're just going to jump right into game. Don't build too close to the void. That's where monsters spawn. Ah! I am slowly learning just as much as you guys. So, now that we know the void, let's see if there's like a, a centered area. Like one map, Ooh, this one doesn't look too bad. Got four buildings that we could take over. That's kinda in the middle. Ooh. That's that one with the castle that goes into the mountain. That was one of the very first maps. Uh, let's go with the leaf. So uh, you can change the modes, but we don't have sandbox and survive or recycle right now. So you have survival. Uh, this is the way the game has to be played. Try to survive as long as possible. So let's just jump right in. And a shout out to this game. It's always looked extremely nice extremely good it's on steam this is version 15i uh, welcome to your region in game tips next you should make a village center so let's make a village center wow that's like a big chunk of uh, uh, forest like that's gonna be like a wall pretty much and we have a tight spot here I don't know if monsters can cross water and we got a good source of food down there. Ooh, what's this? I just want to click on this stuff. Whoa, a crystal place. Awesome. And a farm. Hmm. Makes me want to almost build down a bit. So I can claim that. But at the same time, I get all these houses. So I'm going to go for the houses first. Uh, so as always, like the last game, there's probably a whole bunch of tips here. So you can... Uh, Reclaim buildings just by pressing reclaim and then you want to go to the workers tab and press the plus button Probably feel all my clicking don't you feel it workers and harvesting resources So it's just basically giving us the basics. I'm gonna get rid of that forest and this part of stone Again, you can make your circles bigger or smaller and then they're bigger on screen you can also make them square or circle. Uh, workers, they'll uh, do lumber and they'll harvest stone. 
And then once you have many workers building, you can make a stone shack or a lumber shack. Uh, so at your village center. And Cherry Fairy <laughs> uh, just picked up our first resource. So they're starting to deliver. But we're going to focus on getting this baby up and going. So we've already collected most of the wood. Because the wood's so close that they're delivering it nice and fast. We're at 1 of 16 stone. So that'll be our slowest bit yet. But here they come. So as you can see, it goes up. So we're at 3. We got a guy that doesn't know what he's doing. Which is weird, because I think we have more than enough tasks uh, on board here to uh, keep everybody busy. Everything's coming together quite fast. I'm going to start reclaiming uh, all of these. Because this is going to provide us quite a few houses. That will provide us, I believe there's four to every house. So we'll have 16 houses right off the get-go. We have 25 people, so we'll still have to build a few left. Uh, you can zoom in and out with your mouse wheel. Zoom right out, you know. And you got crystals all over the place for uh, power and magic and stuff like that. Uh, over here, we just unlocked our basic buildings. One of the first things I like to build is usually a guard post. Hmm. Should I build it like way out there? Or should I build one close? And then expand out that way. Yeah, let's build one like, hmm. Like here to defend the food. And then I'll put another one down here. Cause I want to expand this way. Cause look, there's more food. And then this stuff is here. And if I can recover this, this would be quite nice. Uh, so tent has been completed so if you recover I'm pretty sure it costs less so let's check that out uh, we went under harvesting instead of house so we have a tent it says 14 wood so yes I believe we are way ahead doing it this way uh, oh it's already built <laughs> you know you guys could just rewind I'm pretty sure it was 7 to reclaim it. So our guys are hard at work here clearing out everything. Our uh, next project after these shacks, I'll probably let them concentrate on the shacks. Uh, I'll create a farm just to uh, create some a food source because we can't even collect uh, food yet. Uh, to explain some of this new stuff, uh, we have this bar here. This is our magic. We can go over to Influence, we can do a Fire Blast, a Motivate Land, Flame, Dissolve, Healing Aura, Distract, Recall, or Banish. Uh, also, we saw a hero recently. That's what I was going to look at. So I believe this... Nope, that seems like a regular guy. Oh, there. Oh, they're just... Watch, and he'll drop his stuff and come right in, which is cool. There's our hero. So look how he has 114 health. Uh, 38, uh, what do we got here? I believe that's, yeah, strength, dexterity, and intelligence. And we got blood splatter going all over the place here. I believe... It's either a zombie or a uh, skeleton. Oh, it's green. It's a zombie. 63. Okay. So our uh, shack here is good to go. So I'm going to dial back two and just put two in here. So now we have a security force for our main area. And then we'll have a security force down here. Because like I said, I'm just trying to expand down that way. Uh, let's make a basic little farm. Is that another hero or a zombie? That's a zombie and a powerful one. 87. Not good. Uh, let's put it right about there. Get to the chopper. 
And we could build a few more houses actually too, just to get everybody inside and hopefully uh, breeding. Because breeding's important. Now make me some babies. That's probably like more than enough. Damaged buildings. A guard damage has been damaged and you can fix it. And let's take another two off of here. And that should be good for now. Yeah, see, I need to get that within my area. Exhaustion. So just getting sleepy and she's pregnant, sweet. I don't even think I got that on the last time when I was just messing around with uh, the game itself. There's another hero. Lose Dev Devly. Uh, I don't believe we have any fighting anywhere. Like I can hear something, but let's zoom out just to make sure. I want to see if we did expand that area down that way. Because I believe that's how you increase your area. And that sound is uh, people leveling up. That da -na -na. So you'll have to get used to it. Oh, it didn't expand as much as I thought it would. So that stinks. So that might take forever. But what we can do is focus on our area up here. So our farm is good to go. We got all the building supplies needed. And we're good, we're up and operational. So I'm gonna take four off of here and put them all completely on farming. And if we go over to work now, if you notice, now we have food. So we can harvest all that food, because it's nice and close. And then they'll take the food, usually they're carrots, and uh, provide them for the houses before people get hungry. Uh, we could also do that, but I'm going to do that area later when uh, all this has been picked. And it'll actually come back now, versus before when I played the Super Super Alpha, it just like expired. Uh, built their first farm, you can assign workers, we already did that. Because we're so fast. We're like geniuses, man. Geniuses, I tell ya. So slowly coming together. And see, they actually deliver. That's the only thing I don't like. I would rather have the food go to my farm or maybe a market and the actual citizens go get the food. Instead of the farmers delivering the food to each house, it seems a little ridiculous. But there's many changes to come, so I'm not too worried. We can look at all the other stuff we have. We have food storage. We have walls, different kinds. Uh, we have magic. We have a Cullis Gate, a Essence Collector, and a Crystal Monitor. Uh, children. Garhan Fren was born. He's rather useless right now, but he'll eventually grow into an adult, and you'll be able to assign him with some work. For now, we'll be extra curious and wander all around the village, bugging the other villagers. Keep an eye on him. He might get too curious and wander out into uh, town and get himself hurt. So we just gotta watch that, because potentially he could bring in zombies or skeletons. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's go under harvesting. We have small crystally, a lumber mill. Uh, and then we have Lumber Shack, Stone Masonry, and Stone Shack. So you just need shacks for the basics right now. Small wood torches. Let's actually do that. We'll do like little things, you know, to give it like some character. So we'll do like two there to help with the perimeter. And then I guess that might be his territory. I don't know what that green, but we'll go like that. 
like so. And then he'll be able to see out. Too much work. Whoa, slow down. Don't try to build too much at once. You'll overwork your villagers. Try to do two or three buildings at a time. Psst, there's no buildings getting made game. <laughs> They're already built. My people are great. Oh, I know why. They're thinking the torches are full-size buildings. Ah, I get it. So you can do a guard barracks, a guard shack, a guard outpost. Oh, a firebolt tower. So there we go. Keep it like so. Hmm. I wonder if you could extend your territory just with these little torches. That would be amazing. Oh, there's a skeleton or something. Something going on. Mating. More mating happening. Good. Breed, I tell you. Nothing to do for my farmers, so let's get them on that work here. And they can gather all that down there and bring it into town so everybody has lots of food. And everybody punched the crap out of that skeleton. So the skeleton has already been taken care of. So it says, attack by a skeleton, build a guard outpost, or a fire bolt tower. So we've already done that. We got another zombie attacking here. And this is where the influences come in. See as our blue bar is fully filled up. So what we're gonna do is do a healing aura over our people. And it spends it. See how it's spent a little bit? So we're just leaving that be. That should be good enough for now. See, the healing actually lasts quite a bit, so. So all the small torches are getting complete slowly. Got my builders building away on them. See, that works out really nice, in the, especially at nighttime. It'll give them a, quite a large perimeter to uh, establish a, like a defense. Are these guys my guards? Nope, they're builder. So I guess he's just waiting for the wood to be brought in. So he's hucky tuckying that uh, zombie. And everybody's doing a group brawl on that zombie. Just like ha 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 ha. Oh look at that, just drilling through him. And that's only three or four people. So some people just run away. That's funny. They panic. I wonder if they'll uh, blow up my torches and stuff like that. Hmm. It's coming together, people. You don't think these... No, that's the forest, eh? So that's just what's left of the trees. Yeah. Make sure that nothing is left. That is super cleared. And the same with over here. Any rocks that get left behind. Okay. Now I just want to see when this is fully done to see if it's uh, extended. Oh, here comes a hero. Oh! That's crazy, it actually shows their footprints and everything. See, I think they sprint. That's what they're actually doing. They're sprinting to save the people. Ooh, cool, look at the slime. He actually has a slime trail. Looks like he came out of the water, kinda. So we got bodies everywhere. Hoping for that. Here we go. Hopefully this guy, yeah. Looks like he's gonna build it. And I just wanna see if that's gonna extend my range. Oh, it looks like it did already. Yes, look at that. <laughs> Might be an error in the game, but... <laughs> My little torches that don't cost much, six wood, are going to get us down here to this territory. And we're going to take over this and potentially make this another town. Because we can make a, like a gate here with a guard post and then some houses back here. Yeah! Yeah! 
Yeah. It's all coming together. Uh, the heroes and stuff like that, like the guys in yellow, they don't know what to do because they don't have uh, other than chatting. <laughs> We're just communicating. Uh, they don't have any um, jobs to do. They don't become builders. They don't become anything like that. So that is the nice thing. Oh, we got a skeleton coming in. Our hero running away. Oh no, come down there. See, they cover a lot of territory to save our nation. You can do it, the hero. Pummel him. That's funny, he was actually recovering more than killing the other guy. Pummel. Yes. Skeleton death confirmed. And guess what, guys? Just like that, we've done 20 minutes. So if you guys want to see a Let's Play of this, we could actually do a small one. And uh, just expand, basically. And... Uh, Keep on going. I might keep this to a 30 minute one just to see if we can get over here and reclaim this area and see what happens. Because I've never had a crystal place. It says stone. Oh. Stone stores. And rock stores. And wood stores. Hm. We'll see what it needs to actually be done. Come on, workers, work on this. Just listen to the music, eh? It's actually quite nice. Well done. Yay! So that means we got another citizen. We're officially up to 26. Beyond the 25 without cheating. Like we did in the last one where we used to summon some <laughs> people. I summon you to help us. Actually, let's uh, make sure we are still assigning enough wood. And we'll probably just get rid of this point here and then maybe make a wall here, here, and here. Yeah. Some music. I think these guys are fighting here, so let's give them a fire bolt. <laughs> Zombie. Whoa! Almost killed them. <laughs> They're on fire! Oh no. <laughs> Where's my other guy? <laughs> he ran in the water! Holy cool! Keep him alive, get to the water. <laughs> get to the water, man. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, where are you going? Get to the water. He's like, but I'm on fire. Oh, that guy lived. Get to the water. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it almost used all our magic to do that. Look at that crater. Cool. <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> uh, you guys are probably like, what the hell? Just almost killed like half the people. I put them on. I didn't expect it to be that. It's a fire blast. Still. Motivate land. Not enough influence. We gotta let everything charge up a bit. And we did it. So, reclaim. <laughs> Refined minerals or materials. Uh, like board, stone, or you need to reclaim. So, like, you need a lumber shack or a stone masonry. Or 
or how much did our building territory? Ooh, just barely. Let's actually build another one there and hopefully we can reclaim the farm in this episode. We need to heal our people up, my god. Those are my three uh, Thunderbolt survivors. Uh, everything's coming together. They're uh, already hauling everything down. I don't believe we... Did we assign? No. So we've had that one guy, the child that uh, became an adult, just sitting around. Is that our hero? No, just some random guy. Hmm. Is this a... Uh, yep. Yeah, zombie. Coming in for the kill. So yeah, it looks like we need some refined stones there. So, let's look under harvesting here. So it does refine logs, those guys, and stores and refines rock. So a, a shack will be good enough. Will this fit? Oh! Thought it did. Must have been that crystal right there. Yeah. Hmm. Because I don't really want to mine away from that if I can. Should I build way down here? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. What's it need? 16 stone and wood. Let's do it. Starvation. Not good. It means it doesn't have a house, or the house doesn't have food for some reason. Uh, do, do, do. We want to gather. I'm going to say gather some right from here. So then they don't have to walk so far. Same with stone. Uh, Let's sign workers. Hopefully you can't hear my dog being retarded. Downstairs, barking. Let's get rid of all this wood. And then that will make them live down there. And let's gather some food, because it seems like we're having food issues. It's probably all these zombies and, and stuff they've been messing with our food supply. Because uh, people only get so far and then they, uh, get distracted kind of thing. They drop their resources along the way. So let's do a healing there and a healing here because that one guy is fighting like two monsters at once. And then once that monster is dead, uh, they'll come over and help the other guy. So that's good. Yeah, so I defeated it all by himself. I don't know why he's like focused as just standing in. Oh, okay. They've been fighting too. Derpy derp. It's just a pile up of bodies. Oh, what did I do? Recall. No. I wanted healing. I wonder if it like teleports them as that's what's happening. Cool. Someone is leveled up to level three. They're just trying to get that stone shack up and going. I believe we might have a healing aura that we could use. Help our guys out. And they're pretty good for, uh, they drop their resources, but they look like they go right back to it. So at least they don't, like, totally reset and forget that they were carrying resources to help the people. Okay, with that, we're going to call it an episode. Thanks for coming by, guys. Bye for now.